now from South Seminole Academy in Castleberry, Florida. Direct from the third floor of building number three, this is South Seminole News. Good morning, Hurricanes. Happy Thursday. I'm Elisa. And I'm Taylor. It's March 11th, 2021. Welcome to South Seminole News. At this time, please stand for the pledge. Let's check in with Cameron for a daily report. Good morning, Cameron. Good morning, guys. Today's weather is partly cloudy with a high of 79 degrees. A reminder, if you take any photos of yourself this school year, send them to us at South Seminole at News at yahoo.com so that we can put them on the news. Now let's take you to the South Seminole Lounge for the lunch report. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Today's lunch special is spaghetti and meat sauce with broccoli and a breadstick. All meals include fruit, vegetables, milk, or juice. And now in the lunchroom, Radical Dining will offer the new spicy chicken sandwich and a bulletin to let students know that apple and eve juices will not be available due to weather and pandemic conditions. We will announce when they return to the menu. That's all for today's report. If you or your class would like to record something here in the South Seminole Lounge for the Friday show, please contact the newsroom. We'll see you next time. Now back to you. Thanks. You will find more news from the South Seminole Lounge every week on the Friday afternoon show. Be on the lookout for a different segment every day of the week. The Dean's Day on the Friday afternoon show with Mr. Fernandez and Ms. Pearson. Mindset Monday with Dr. Coleman. Hurricane Smiles on Tuesday with Mr. Shafi. Win Win Wednesday with Miss Reed, Merce MVP on Thursday, and Fabulous Friday with Miss Mafoose. And now we take you to Merce MVP. All right, welcome, Hurricanes. Merce's MVP is back again. This week, I have a very special guest. Miss Nadia Rivera from the sixth grade with us today. So Nadia, congratulations. You are my MVP for the week and you have been a MVP all school year. So some of the reasons that I picked you this week as my MVP is number one, the leadership. <clears throat> uh, for those of you who don't have the opportunity to come in the gymnasium in the morning, we have student leaders that have basically become our ushers to seat the entire sixth grade in the gymnasium. So it's awesome, we maintain structure, we maintain organization, we maintain social distancing uh, to keep everyone safe and sound, which is most important. From day one, when I met Nadia, she volunteered to be a leader, one of our ushers to seat the students and uh, keep everyone social distance, keep everyone at a safe, uh, safe spot, and has been a leader all school year in helping us do so. She's shown great character on campus, always friendly, always shows manners, and just very helpful um, for anyone that may need uh, anything. So again, Nadia, congratulations. I'm honored to be here with you today. So uh, let's let the Hurricanes get to know a little bit about you. Um, first, what is, what, do you love about South Seminole? What's your favorite thing about South Seminole? I'd say my favorite thing about South Seminole would have to be getting to hang around with my friends. And the classes are really nice. I like um, how there's always leadership classes, and that's really something that's fun and to do. Awesome. And I can see why you like leadership classes so much, because you just have like a natural leadership ability about you, and I love that. Uh, speaking of your classes, what is your favorite class here at South Seminole and why? Uh, my first favorite class would have to be Mr. Bishop. It's because I'm always artistic and I like drawing. And my second would have to be Miss Smith, which is ELA, because I love learning about like Greek history and stuff like that. And her class is just fun. Awesome. Shout out to Mr. Bishop and Miss Smith. Keep up the great work. Um, you've got a very good student here, Nadia. And last question, to get to know a little more about you, who is your role model, Nadia, and why? Um, I would have to say my role model would be my mother, 
because she's always pushing me to do better than I can, and she's showing me what not to do and what to do. Awesome, and I can just tell by your character on campus that mom is doing a great job, so shout out to your mom, um, and I look forward to working with you the next two years. Well, congratulations. Thanks for being an MVP on campus and another one of Mertz's MVPs. Everyone, don't forget Get to storm. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Mertz. You can find his segment in all of our videos on youtube.com slash news. A message from the Latinos in Action Club. They are collecting donations to help children with leukemia. If you would like to help, ask your first period teacher if they have a hero basket in their classroom. If they don't, they can contact Ms. Dave Riel and they will provide one for you. Leukemia is the number one most diagnosed form of childhood cancer. Please help the Latinos in Action as they raise awareness and money for the cause. Hero buckets will be picked up once a week and the first period class with the most donations will get an empanada party. The PBS Academy will be delivering boxes for paper recycling this week. If you would like a recycling box, please see Mr. Motley. Please see Mr. Motley. Boxes will be picked up every Friday. Attention students and teachers, if you would like to order a girls basketball quarter zip up shooting jacket or balling for cancer shirt, please click on this QR code to sign up. We will be donating money to the American Cancer Association and be a hero for leukemia and lymphomia. We will be placing two orders. If you want your order by March 31st, the first game, then you will need to pay an order by 3.30 p.m. Friday, March 12th. If you, don't, if you don't mind getting it after the first game, then your order needs to be in by Friday, March 2016th. This is the absolute last day to place an order. We can accept cash or check. Checks need to be made out to the South Central Academy girls basketball team memo. All cash and check must be given to Coach LRB room 240 to get, and to get a receipt. You can also pay online using the QR code. If you have any questions, please let Coach Danny or, or Coach LRB know. A message from the SSA yearbook staff. You can still pre-order your yearbook at www.jostens.com for the price of $40 until April 30th. Also, if you take any good photos, send them to SSA yearbook at yahoo.com. If the yearbook staff likes your photo, they may up in the book. Take photos all school year and send them your best ones. Good luck, school photographers. Students, stop by the Media Center and take a look at the free books section near the front door. New books are added every week and all students are welcome to stop by and take a look. We're going to take a quick com commercial break. When we come back, we'll tell you about our next picture day. We'll be right back after this. Uno, we are Latinas in Action. Latinas in Action is organized in a fundraising to help people with leukemia. And the classroom that raised more money will have a empanada party. Be a hero. We need you. Donate. Hello, everyone. Once again, we interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. We have a special news bulletin from Mr. Adamowitz regarding the 2021 Seminole County History Fair Awards. Congratulations to Milena Houston. She placed third overall for his, her historical paper, No Pain, No Gain, How Thomas Paine's Pen Helped Turn the Tide of the Revolution. Congratulations. Great job, Milena. Also, congratulations to Kylie Cochran. She placed second in the county with paper, the backbone of communication. Also, Kylie has the opportunity to move on to the state competition. Congratulations to both of our hurricanes and continue to storm. We now return you to your regularly scheduled program.
Welcome back. A message from My Life Touch. Tomorrow we will have a spring picture day here in the Media Center. Face-to-face -face students will be from 1 to 3.30 p.m. and virtual students from 4.30 to 5.30. Please go to mylifetouch.com and search for a school to sign up ahead of time. A reminder to parents and students that you may vote on the Teacher of the Month by clicking on this QR code here on the screen. You can pause this video or go to our YouTube page to scan this image. Congratulations to Ms. McAvoy for being this month's winner. That's all for today. Make sure to check us out on Instagram and YouTube at South Seminole News and don't forget to subscribe. Also, please like the South Seminole Academy and PTS Facebook pages for more info. Anyone that was unable to watch the Black History Month talent show can find it on our page at youtube.com slash South Seminole News. And students, every day here at South Seminole Academy, we strive for success, take responsibility, opt to lead, respect others, and make good choices. Thanks for watching. I'm Lisa. And I'm Taylor. Have a great Thursday and don't, don't forget, forget to storm. storm.